Here we are, winners finals. We got 70s Princesses versus Hurricane Irma. So Hurricane Irma doing actually a uh, really just having a really, really strong playthrough throughout this whole entire um, bracket, actually. Very, very strong team you comp. see, both teams haven't even dropped a game yet. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, that is that is true, yeah. And uh, Hurricane Irma just has, they have a really good sense of uh, capitalizing situations. That's what I've noticed from them. Uh, 70s Princesses, though, they have a pretty good teamwork play. So we're going to see what plays out better, cap Capitalization or teamwork? We'll see. But Hurricane Irma, they know how to pick out people. Yeah. That's that's a good they they know how to pick out and take those stocks off. Seek but, and destroy. Yeah, but seven these princesses, they know how to um, know which one to isolate and if it gets pretty detrimental, they know how to get their team their teammates out of a dangerous situation and then um, combo into each other to secure a kill. So that's 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 really good to have. Yeah. So we'll just see how it plays out. Yep. That's all we can just wait and see what's gonna happen. Or like we see these two teams have been added, they've been taking taking sets. And now unfortunately for this one someone has to go and lose. All right, but it seems through the course of the night, everybody remembered to go into eight-player smash <laughs> instead of the single-player smash. So there's that. So that's cool. All right, everyone's adapting. Yeah, just, just for tonight. Yeah, yeah, right, just for tonight. It would be funny, though, if next week they start going to eight. <laughs> We're like, oh, wait, wait, wait. It's supposed to be hold single. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, whoops, my bad. That'll be funny. <laughs> All right. Seems that they're waiting for uh, people to come in and all that stuff. But um, I guess while we're waiting, uh, definitely another reminder, guys. Uh, Smash the Record is September 14th to the 17th. So definitely tune in for that. That's going to be an awesome event uh, that's going to happen. A charity event as well, too. So not only Smash will be there, but there will be other different games and events. Um, and speedruns, too, as well, too. Yeah. Um, so definitely um, go check it out. It's going to be an awesome event. Uh, and it will be streamed on Twitch as well, too. So definitely, you know, if... You're not busy during the 14th through 17th. Definitely check that out. That'll be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Support, support. It's a nice charity event. All right. So we're just waiting on actually Hurricane Irma here because some of these princesses, like, they're all chilling. Yeah, that's, that's sitting pretty. <laughs> they're all chilling. They're just waiting. And we got Hurricane Irma taking their time. Like, Hurricane Irma is taking time to come Going to, to Florida. <laughs> Slowly making our way across the ocean. It's like, hurry up, Hurricane Irma. Tell <laughs> us where you're gonna go but all right seems that like they're all here but they're all good to go okay cool so let's see we're gonna see roy because last time actually hurricane irma came instead of uh, rosa we actually had a uh, cloud out so it seems that uh, utopian's feeling rosa right now all right and we got we're gonna have sonic in all right so it seems that I feel like actually Rosa is actually a good pick um, for this one. I mean, like Cloud would be better overall, uh, but Rosa is actually a, a, a pretty good pick. Um, Luma can effectively handle out uh, both Mario and Wario, actually. The only threat to Rosa I see really is Fox, um, especially uh, in if he does use Side B effectively in this. Yes. Uh, side B actually knocks out Luma out pretty well. <laughs> so that's what we see a little Mac for the first time coming into play. Oh. Wait, are we going to see a little Mac? Oh, so we have King Will. That's a little Mac. Oh, we got a Falco switch. So, it, I mean, it's still technically Fox. It's still the same thing. Okay, and we're going back. All right, all right. Okay. All right, we're going to remix into Cloud. There it is. Okay, look, Utopia, don't do this to me. <laughs> look, don't do not do this to us. It's already bad enough. This is. All right, so now. Oh, okay, this is solid set. Thank you. We're going to the first game. Pyrosphere, once again. All right, okay. <laughs> Here we are, game one, Hurricane Irma, Team Red, and Yellow Team as 70s Princesses. All right, let's see how this goes. So again, I feel like this stage is actually really good for Wario, to be honest, because the way how the platforms are placed, it kind of gives Wario a good uh, way to get his bike in and to kind of cruise on to the stage as well, too. So I mean, like this is actually a pretty good stage for Wario as far as, his, as, as far as his bike goes. And he's pretty safe. If he were to bike across the stage, he can pop up and land safely on a platform, too. So. Not to mention get any, just any free damage. You saw that just exactly. on the, the, the run by. Exactly. Like, I feel like this stage is actually really good for Wario. I've seen um, 
every game that Wario has been on this stage, I've, I've just seen nothing but like great stuff and more bikes, more than usual on this stage too. All right, so here we are. High on percentages already on both teams here, but yellow team looking a little bit uh, grim here. Pretty racked up high on percentage here. Oh, but then Fox up there coming and sealing off. Definitely. On the and I mean, like, I respect uh, having the Mac here because I mean, like, Mac, if he stays grounded center stage the entire time, you know, that super armor, and he does hit really hard and yeah. takes out those stocks very securely. That is going to be a big thing, but I don't think KO Punch is going to be too much of a factor here only because, you know, there's so much hitboxes that are active going on, especially his teammates. If he hits them out of KO, that's going to be a really, you know, annoying situation for Mac. No. Being KO Punch, it could also turn things. Oh, yeah, being KO Punch. Now, that's a different story. <laughs> but we'll see. He is reaching that KO meter up. All right. It seems like King Will is fishing for that situation. One more hit. There it is. He has KO Punch here. Let's see who he KOs out. But hopefully he doesn't KO out a teammate. That's going to be a really, really scary situation, too. All right, Roy, you're getting a little too close to Mac, Roy. You need to, you need to chill. <laughs> Roy, oh, before... Wario. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, sacrifice his teammate. Oh, wow. Both teammates actually get destroyed, unfortunately. The yellow team. All for what? Wow, all for... Wow. Wow, that was so expensive. That was so expensive. That wasn't worth... Oh, man. And, and like I said, you mean like KO Punch, it wasn't used. It's gone now. So Mac is going to have to rack up that damage or just die yeah, and, and get another one. Mac. That's a dead Mac, yeah, like you off said. Stage. Yeah. Off stage. Four Mac off stage. Oh, that was so expensive on Red Team's part, in my opinion. I mean, granted, it was their first stocks, Rosa and Roy, but you want to keep onto your stocks as long as possible in teams. Yeah, the reason why, I, I guess they just want some nice damage on the Fox. It was kind of caught in the mix of that. All right, there goes the, an infamous Mario throw, using the opponents to uh, and use some damage into the back throw. So great stuff from Gunnar Mario. Now, just like that, though, Red Team is on their own final stocks. Yeah, definitely. I'm telling you, that, that early, that... That smash from Little Mac, that was that was really expensive. All right, Mario again. And oh, I love the, the connection into the WAP. Yeah. That was so That's good. Right. Back throw into WAP. Taking that stock off a of Little Fish, Mac. He was fishing for that when he yeah, got it. Yeah, was, that was great. I mean, that's what I'm talking about in this situation. It seems that teamwork is working a lot more versus capitalization in this situation. You see Red Team just trying to hang on, getting their damage. All right, great stuff. That Luma is gone, though. All right, let's see what, how Rosa and Roy handles out this situation. Because, I mean, it is going to be hard. They would have to effectively take out Mario, actually. Taking out Mario would be their best bet, because now that eliminates one character on the field. And then um, it may force Wario to sacrifice his stock if he feels like it. But unfortunately, Roy is the only one here. So I'm not Hello. sure that situation is going to happen. Up and unfortunately, he gets up smash, and 70s Princesses takes game one with swift and solid teamwork. Great yeah. stuff. Great stuff. That is team. Yes, yes, Wario. That is your squad. That was the team. <laughs> that was that was a squad right there. That was some good stuff. That was amazing. Yeah. Wafting in. Get off me. <laughs> All Respect right. Respect the part. Ooh, yeah, the cloud pixie. That's what I was actually hoping for game one, because I feel that even though Rosa can do effectively well against uh, Wario and Mario, mm -hmm. it's just that Luma just gets beaten up so much, it's not worth. So Cloud, he has a reach, he has a you know hitboxes to compensate uh, for for close on situations like that. I mean like Cloud is probably one of the best uh, team characters out there. Yeah. So has a lot of synergy, can save the, the kill power from limit actions. All very comboable, not to mention. Exactly. And speaking of uh, combo situations, I mean, this is a stage where this can become Combo City. So, I mean, you have that bush there that can uh, put in a lot of opportunities for you and reset a lot of jumps for you. You got the tree on the left there that can definitely uh, bring in lots of killing situations too as well. So definitely some, some really crazy stuff. And even the bush itself can uh, help out with uh, certain the, moves out. Yeah, the hidden bush. Exactly. And in a 3v3, that's so much to take care of. It's like... You, if someone is behind the bush, that's going to be something that you're Ooh, not going to really notice. The you know? bush will keep. 
Just waiting for your attack. <laughs> right? just, just waiting for your attack. Look, if it was me, I would hide behind the bush and just wait for my moment. <laughs> yeah. Wait to strike. <laughs> All right. But red team. Ooh, that downer. Yeah, red team only. Um, oh, actually pretty even on both teams, actually. So great stuff. Uh, but 70s Princess is still working out that, that teamwork that's going on. But because of the cloud switch, uh, red team is actually doing pretty well um, nice cloud-wise. Nice catch coming from, uh, from red team Sonic. Catching them well, catching one. All right. Oh, wow, Spring hitting Mario at the bottom there, towards the blast one, actually. That was some really unfortunate stuff, and Mario was, was going to make it back. He had no jump stone, nothing. That was, that was, that was very it. unfortunate, yeah. Oh, but now we see uh, stocks tying up once again, each with five apiece. Yeah, definitely, and I really feel that once they take out Cloud, it's gonna be it's gonna be a kind of a huge game changer, but I want to say that great stuff coming out of Roy actually up B, solid stuff. Securing the kill. But I want to say is that if Cloud if Roy stays alive and Cloud dies, I want to say Roy is gonna give his stock to uh, Cloud. I want to say he will. All right, there it goes. Wario oh. just, just hanging out in there, and Cloud just barely making it alive here. All right, great up B save from Roy. There goes Mario fishing for some Yeehaws. Oh, there goes oh, the third Yeehaw. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Look, he did three. The third third oh, time like is said, the like charm. You said, the cloud exactly, yeah. Back, share stock. See, I told you, I told you. He's, he's going to share it because uh, Cloud can handle all this situation a lot better than Roy can. Ah, but then. Sonic sharing stock with, with Roy. Roy. See, see, so this now is, it's okay. all stock of peace situation. Yeah, all around it. Everything's even out. So it seems that like in this situation now, red team is actually ahead out. They take out Wario. So Wario, great limited. SDI coming out of Wario, saving him there. Oh, oh the walk no, combo, yet. but that doesn't kill. But still, like I'm telling, great teamwork yeah. as always. Great stuff. Look, forget about trying to isolate just Mar You need to isolate. Wario, man. Wow. Wario's the one you need to isolate out. All Mario can do is throw. Wario's the one who's doing all the henchmen work, killing. And finishing, oh, Cross Slash is not going to take out uh, that stock out, out of Fox here. All right, and Yellow Team is just tanking it out. They're staying alive. That's yeah. insane. Yeah. Very, they got silly stocks quickly because uh, yeah. that rage. <laughs> they're just living. They're just living. <laughs> And if you don't kill, they're going to kill you with all that rage. Oh my god, this is so crazy. Yellow team is doing so well. They're at 100 plus percent. That's insane. And they're still alive. And I mean, they got hit by cloud up airs. They got hit by cross slashes. Like, they're still alive. That's crazy. And Fox, he's still alive. Fox, and he, uh, okay. okay, I was about to say, if Fox lived, I would have called. No. <laughs> if Fox lived, no. Now we have a nearly... Max Rage on both Wario and Mario right now. Yep. Oh, with man. The, trying to fish on the top of that one. Oh, wow. Great stuff, though, coming out of Kingo. Great punish. Yeah. Great punish. Yeah. Woo, Hurricane Irma making it back. Storming their way back in this set. Yeah, game one, that was that was category three. Is game two, a, that was a category five <laughs> work. <laughs> do you know if this is best of five? Uh, this is uh, winner's finals. I believe it is best out of five. Oh, so we're going to see a bit more of 3v3, eh? Yes, we're going to be see a lot more for some of these princesses and Hurricane, Hurricane Irma. All right, so it's 1-1 one, one between both teams. Both both teams playing it out very strong. And yellow team, actually, in a, in a game two, just handling yellow. out very well. Just they, they didn't die. No, they, they were living. They were dealing <laughs> damage while they were living. And I mean, like Fox, out of all people, is still alive. And Fox, Fox is a glass cannon. Like he dies pretty early, but he was still living. So that was some really great stuff coming out of Yellow Team, just surviving. All right, so great stuff uh, coming out of all, all players here. But Red Team uh, is a little bit behind here. They're they're actually kind of focusing a little bit in on uh, Cloud here, actually a lot more. And like, look, we need to get Cloud out. <laughs> I mean, there goes a Mario Wario team duo here. Ooh, Roy already did. 
Yeah, but like I said, they need to take out Wario for sure um, to have a, a good chance. Uh, definitely keep a Wario away from Mario because a lot of the times whenever Mario does something, Wario is always on the ready to follow up. And I've noticed that throughout all of their matches, Wario just seems to be always ready whenever Mario or even oh. um, Fox has something. Yeah, and um, not to mention Wario just taking off that stock of Cloud. Exactly. Recognizing that he was a very lag situation. Wow, he just he's an up smash. Check that out. Now we see Yellow Team with a nice, comfortable stock lead. Having two stocks. But All right. uh, taking out their own teammate, though. That won't help nobody. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. It's okay. It was their first stock of the team, so that's fine. And they're still living it out. Unfortunately, Mario misses that fair and, and now suffers from it. Everyone has two stocks. <laughs> Wow, and I felt like Cloud. I felt like Cloud kind of saved Fox there, and in, in, in that situation, I'm not too sure. No, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he was gonna make it back. Still made sure he took some damage though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, he still took damage. Yeah. Any damage, good damage. And Waft takes off that stock off of Sonic there. Oh, well, Waft, just coming out to it. It's right. here. <laughs> And everyone at two stocks each. This is pretty even right now. Yeah, the sale team is a little bit slight of bit. Never right. mind. All right, Fox. Now it's dead. <laughs> yeah, Fox losing that stock. Oh, oh and Mario, Mario and stock. almost Wario right following him. Almost losing his stock, but Wario is still alive and ready. So uh, red team taking a little bit of lead. There great, yeah, yeah, great cross last catch. But actually, Sonic got caught in that too. But Sonic lives and immediately Cloud getting hit by, I want to say that was Mario um, of Smash. Wow, unfortunately, up air taking out his own teammate stock, uh, Roy Cloud. Wow. Oh, we see almost the. Hey, the spike. The climb has a spike coming. Oh my gosh, what great teamwork. Wario and Fox off stage. They caught Cloud noodling. And just like that. Definitely. Cloud was dead. Definitely really good stuff. And Sonic is out now. Two players left on red team. And we got three on yellow team. Let's see what uh, red team can do. Isaiah trying to make the deficit. So it is worth to mention that both Wario and Mario are pretty high damage. Oh, All just right. like that, Wario is out. Now, a 2v2. Here it is, 2v2. And now that Wario's out of the picture, Mario doesn't have his henchmen oh, to take it off. Nice and throw great combo. <laughs> throw combo. That was Finishing good. touch. That was and great. now he's just sitting back and charging once again, waiting for his opportunity to strike. Like Mario, if there was no better moment to yeehaw. Oh, oh he gosh, gets the cape. cape. No. What a cape. Oh, no. What a cape. Oh, <laughs> I was getting excited. I was like, look, Mario, you need to give the biggest yeehaw of your life <laughs> to take out Cloud. That was quite. Oh, man. Quite the cape. The red team. That was actually some good stuff coming out of Mario. Like, Mario put in. Mario was putting in some work <laughs> on that 1v2, but unfortunately. Uh, Cloud capitalized on that, but that's fine. It's 2-1. We'll see how this goes. This is best out of three. It is winner's finals, uh, but we're going to see how this goes. Wow. All right, so I want to see what Sage picked. Uh, probably maybe... Duck Hunt, yeah, Duck Hunt. Because Duck Hunt has actually been a really popular pick yeah. um, as that far and, as a uh, counter pick. Yeah, that and Pokemon Stadium, Palace Temple, we've seen a bit. Yeah, Palace and Temple, we yeah. See that Palace Temple coming see out Palace right Temple, now? Yeah. All right. All right, so here you are in game uh, four. <laughs> yeah. It was confusing out of three. So, anyways, here we are, game four. Um, but yes, uh, yellow team, as a reminder, is 70s Princesses, and red team is Hurricane Irma. Right now, Hurricane Irma is up, so this game, they can take this game, they take this set, and thus advancing. Exactly, so we'll see who advances on into uh, Grand Finals here, but Hurricane Irma, I mean, it's not an easy win for them, so 
I mean, some of these princesses, they are hanging in there really well. Like I said, they have a great sense of connecting with uh, their team and just having a lot of teamwork, but Hurricane Irma is doing a little better as far as uh, capitalizing on situations. So right there, Cloud capitalizing on Mario being in the air, up air, and taking off that stock off of Mario very early too. So great stuff. All right, so. Oh, I love how they're trying to isolate on Cloud, but great save from Cloud with Cross Slash, Limit Cross Slash. Yeah, catching on just that approach. Like, he knew Fox was trying to approach him. like, nah, get off me. Get off. Exactly, and stocks are falling off once again. And Roy and Sonic just losing their stocks um, off Erlon. Cloud still having his first stock. And both both teams actually pretty even stock-wise. And, oh, wow, no, Wario tried. They tried to save each other off the, off the stage there. Wow. But unfortunately, Wario was able to save his teammate, but wasn't able to save himself. So that wasn't like teamwork at its finest. I don't know what is. That was some pretty detrimental stuff. The honorable <laughs> sacrifice coming. Exactly, yeah. And I mean, like, coming out from the stock tank himself is like, look, no, you're living. I got three you're stocks. You're living. <laughs> so that is a stock tank's work. Like, if that wasn't stock tank enough, I don't know what is. All right, and are we see the Mario, the Mario Wario combos? Oh, unfortunately, Cloud is like, look, I'm tired of your Mario Wario combos. Get this, get this, get this out of here, down smash, you're dead. I'm just more surprised he caught both of them with his down smash. That's the more surprising thing. And we see a uh, red wow. team, yeah, red team, the nice little stock lead as a uh, yellow team's on each of them. Their last, their last set stock here. They gotta do something quick, or they can find themselves at the end of this game. He's actually yellow team down to their last stocks, like you said, and red team is looking really well too. And I'm actually loving how red team knows that they're ahead, so they're not afraid to hit each other or in certain situations where they do have an opponent in their hands. And, and great catch! That was so good. We see Cloud coming in. On, on, we know 2v2s is good, so why not have them 3v3? <laughs> exactly. And what I'm noticing is that Team Hurricane Irma, they're actually. Uh, it's shifting into more of a teamwork play, actually. Like, you see, like, they're waiting super patiently, waiting for situations, so they actually evolved into a teamwork play, so. Yeah, yeah, just waiting on each yeah. other, capitalizing off a of throw. Just as we see, we saw a limit cloud, the finishing touch off a of throw. Yeah, definitely good stuff. Just like the real Hurricane Irma, they're they're getting stronger. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, gaining that strength. They're getting stronger. Anyway, it's good stuff coming out of Hurricane Irma. And some of these princesses, we will see them, I believe, in Losers uh, final. So we'll see when that moment comes. So definitely, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying CFL oh. SmackDown 142, uh, 3v3 edition. Ooh, That's exactly what this is. <laughs> and um, definitely uh, be sure to check out the bracket, how it's going. Uh, it's, it's pretty much towards, you know, the end. So we're kind of going to see them Starting more. Starting to wind down. This is kind of winding down a bit, but um, definitely check out uh, the bracket by typing in exclamation bracket and check out t.polarity.gg. And of course, me and Aeon would love feedback on our commentary. So if there's any uh, tips that you want to give us, any facts we got wrong, or just overall, if, 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 if you simply want to uh, give us, you know, thanks and all that stuff. You know, yeah, if you liked it. If you liked it. Yeah, definitely. That'll be greatly appreciated. All right. So...